and it was all designed for about 1,000 African men. 1,000? 1,000 African men in five rooms. It means mathematically each room was to get about 200 feet there. And this was the very place they had to stay, they remained, they were kept. They were mostly eaten outside, but sometimes they had to eat in the dungeon. Mm -hmm. And they had to eat in the outside. But the thing is, what that was given to them was not something to satisfy them, but only to keep them going from time to time. Plus, they had wooden buckets placed in every room. So if you want to defecate, you go to the green bucket, you defecate in it. And these were the only source of light and ventilation. Plus, it had no nets covering it, so it was open. And since it was open, it was easy for houseflies, mosquitoes, and several other insects to fly in. That way, sometimes you see the people having diarrhea, coughing on the lake, and different kind of things. And so these men would have to move from where they are to the bucket, but they were always in shackles and chains in the dungeons. So you would try to move in, you have cholera, there are 199 people in here, you're moving through them, you will never make it to the bucket. So along the way, in most cases, they were difficult for themselves. That's why most people decided to stay where they were, defecated there, they related there, and slept at the very same place. After mm. all, I have nothing to lose. They were sent out. Whenever they were sent out to eat or to work, just to exercise themselves, African servants were brought in here to clean up the feces, the urine, and everything. They literally were brought back. But there came a time the Europeans even decided they were not clean because they were not making that much money anymore and state trade was almost at the end. So whenever they sent men and women out of the dungeons, instead of servants coming to clean, they were ordered rather to cover everything up with sand. So these as urine, food particles, vomit, blood and everything will be all over the place. They put sand on top of it, then men and women will have to get back into the dungeons and sleep on top of it. Mm -hmm. And that practice made the whole of the dungeons become piled up with human waste. But here we only the original floor because the floor has been excavated. And it was then in 1974 for research purposes by uh, the archaeological department of the University of Ghana, the Corner. But in the other rooms, whatever we all are going to walk on happens to be the DNA of our ancestors. Mm -hmm. so horrible. Because of the darkness we met in here earlier, whenever they were sent out there, their eyes wouldn't see properly. Plus, people were dying here, and whenever they died, since they were not buried, they just picked up the dead bodies, sent them out there, and threw them into the sea. Please, let's continue up there. Then we talk.